What's up? I just thought I'd uh, do a very quick video. What I want to talk about today was uh, my name. My name has an A at the end. I pretty much like it, but it's so commonly known as female. And then if you drop the A, it um, it's just a name that I don't really like. So what to do? I went and got my hair cut over the weekend, I think. Yeah, about a week ago I got my hair cut and it's a place, it's sports clips, you know, where the tagline is like, it's good to be a man or something silly like that. And, you know, I'm, every time I go in there, and I don't go there every time I go there, like every three times I cut my hair or something, um, every time I go in there, I'm the only what appears to me anyway, the only non-cisgender male person there getting their hair cut. The people who work there are almost all female, or presumably female. So, it used to feel kind of awkward being in there, but and then and they want to know your name, they have to know your name, um, and they even, I think they even check your ID the first time that you go there. Uh, so it's not like you can just like make up a new name every time you go there. Or not tell them your name. You have to. So I've been thinking about that and how this last time that I went, it felt embarrassing, actually, to go in there and hear my name called or say my name. And and I don't know if anybody else saw it. There go the trains again. I don't know if anybody else like heard my name and felt there was some sort of inconsistency or something, I don't know. But when I went and got my hair cut, there was someone there uh, who, like, was oblivious to me earlier on, but then they were talking to the hair stylist cutter person about their kid's hair, and she was like, oh yeah, he would look really cute with, um, you know, shaved sides or something, like, like his haircut over there, and they were talking about me. So, like, it seemed clear that, that, um, a lot of people are reading me as male, but then, uh, something with my name, it just disrupts that, and it's not like I have this deep desire to be read as male, but I just, I just don't want to be visible, I don't want to be seen, I don't want to stick out in any way, and... If people assume I'm male and then I am not, or have a name that is not, it just is troublesome to me, and and I don't know what to do about it. I, you know, if I was some, well, I don't even know if it's about being a different person or something, but like, I'm not out there trying to be some sort of non-binary activists who's trying to change the world. I just want to live life and not feel uncomfortable, and, and I already feel uncomfortable sometimes, so this whole name thing. Yeah, it's like, do you try to change the structures to make it safe? And so if I was trying to change the structures, I'd go out and be like, yeah, I'm whatever my name is, and not care. I'd go into whatever bathroom I want and not care. But the thing is, I do care, and it does affect me, and so I, I feel like I don't want to try to change every structure because that's just exhausting. <coughs> so, um, so I guess I'm just feeling a little bit troubled by my name and um, trying to decide if I want to change it or if I want to at least come up with some sort of alternative name that could be read as male or could be read as female depending on what people think um, and my name also appears on the on my students schedules and so they just come in with an assumption about my gender based on a name on a schedule so kind of don't like that either and then my partner goes by their initial. So me going by my initial just seems uh, too much. And I don't like the way it sounds anyway. 
So what to do, what to do, I don't know. But anyway, I hope you're doing okay wherever you are. Um, uh, I hope to make a few more videos, or I hope to make some more videos over the summer because the this past semester I've been a little sporadic. So anyway, I hope you're doing okay. I'll talk to you later.